Today I'm going to show you guys how to farm Souls of Fright in Terraria. And Souls of Fright in Terraria are used in a lot of recipes. You're going to need lots of them. For example, if you want to make the Naughty Present, where you unlock the Frost event, and then you want to unlock new weapons. If you want to get the Zenit, for example, you're going to need to get the Souls of Fright as well. And what I'm going to show you is probably going to be enough to get you through all of the Souls of Fright you're going to need in the game. So for that, you're going to need Mechanical Skull to summon Skeletron Prime. And to make those, you need Souls of Night, Souls of Light, Iron Bars, and you need Bones as well. And we're going to make as many of these as we can. And our plan is to kill at least three, if not four, of the Skeletron Primes in one night. Now for this, I'm going to be using the Turtle Armor set. And I'm also going to be using the frozen turtle shell, which is going to give us extra defense, especially when our health goes below a certain point. We're going to be using the charm of mitts. We're going to be using the ink shield, and we're also going to be using the brain of confusion and the star veil. Everything else on my list isn't going to be that useful. It's just going to be extra armor. I have all my accessories on warding as well. We're going to use the heart statue for a bit of extra health, and we're also going to be using the heart lantern. We're going to use the, the lucky guy here, the gnome, in order to just increase my luck. But that's pretty much it, and we're going to be spawning him at half past. So pretty much what we're trying to do here, and you could also add some honey, by the way, to increase your defense so that you probably could just stand still for the entire fight. What we're going to try to do, we're going to try and kill two or three of these guys in one night. And if wyverns spawn, that's the only reason why we are going to have any issues. Other than that, we should be fine. So we're going to use our vampire dives to heal up. Whenever he goes into debt roll, we're just going to move away from it. And we're going to just spam. Simple as that. We're healing because of the vampire knives. We have a ton of defense because of our turtle armor. And as I said already, the only real danger we have, apart from this debt roll, which we're going to just move out of the way of, is the wyverns that will perhaps spawn every now and then. You could use a calming potion in order to try and stop them from spawning. I've already taken out one of his hands, and we don't need to use any of our parts either. So it's uh, vampire dives used to actually be even stronger than this, but they nerfed them. It's a pretty poor nerf, and I've actually seen a message from Red as well. He said that he's never touching the vampire knives again, because the last time he touched the vampire knives, the place went crazy. Now, if you have a good summon, you could use a summon too. You probably won't be using the Star Dust Dragon for this. But if you're farming Souls of Fright, maybe you will already have the Star Dust Dragon. Even with his debt roll, he's bringing me down to about half health. And we can heal through that. And then the debt roll is over. So maybe stand still using this technique when he's not using his debt roll. And then when he's using his debt roll, move away. That way we're kind of like damaging him constantly instead of only a little bit. We really want to make sure that we are doing enough damage to kill at least three of these in one night. If you're not killing two or three of these in one night, you're probably going to have to wait another night in order to spawn more of these. You could obviously use stronger weapons too. There's nothing stopping you from using stronger, stronger weapons. I'm only using the Vampire Knives because this is an item that realistically you will have around this time where you want to farm. And... You want to have the healing effect of the Vampire Knives as well. So that's going to make a huge difference. So this should be the first of our Skeletrons of the Night killed in a few moments. And we'll pick up our Souls of Fright. I think if you kill Skeletron Prime naturally in your playthrough earlier, and then you farm him now, you should probably have enough Souls of Fright to last your entire playthrough if you kill the natural one that you killed earlier and two, maybe three at max in on uh, in this little farming area that we're doing here. You don't need more than that. So after collecting 94 Souls of Fright, what can we do with them? We can make the Naughty Present, as I mentioned already. We can make the Avenger Emblem. We can make Flamethrower, Pickaxe, Axe, Drax. We can make the True Knight's Edge, and we can make the Soul of Fright in a Bottle. 
so they are quite useful. They're not as useful as Souls of Might, for example, but they're good enough. I mean, the Flame Chore, does anyone actually use the Flame Chore? Ignores 15 points of enemy defense. I'm going to have to try and use that someday just to see what it's like. So that's how you farm Skeletron Prime to get enough Souls of Fright for your playthrough. Thank you very much for watching today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me know if any questions, let me know if any comments, let me know if you do anything any differently. And thank you very much for watching.